Alaska Fish Fertilizer is by far my favorite in the garden. The 01010 promotes flowers, root growth, and pretty much your overall health of your plant. The 511 pretty much does the same thing to a lesser degree because it has nitrogen in it. I really love using this on my brassicas. Uh, really brings out the green and the leaves and help for the overall growth of the plant as well. These are my sugar snap peas and outside of my soil prep where I use an organic all-purpose fertilizer as well as bone meal and blood meal, fish fertilizer is almost exclusively used after that point. If you're looking for plenty of blooms and your fruits and vegetables to have this sort of sweetness when you bite into them, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with the 01010. Snap peas are susceptible to powdery mildew, but still is only one of the reasons why I never do an overhead watering. I've heard of quite a few people say that they've burned the leaves of their plants after using the fish fertilizer, myself included, which is the main reason I prefer to use the root drench application. These snap peas are well over six feet tall and you can see flowers and fruit bursting all over the plant. I'm gonna take you over to my Brussels sprouts where I use both the 511 but only quarter strength of the 01010. I removed them from the seedling cages because I want you to see just how healthy they are using this fish fertilizer. While not being too concerned with splashing on the plants, once again, I'm doing a root drench and I'm going around the plant, staying as close to the drip line as I possibly can. By feeding the soil as opposed to the plant itself, it's giving the roots a reason to stretch out in order to get to that food source. I feed all my brassicas pretty much the same. The 511 on a weekly and the 01010 quarter strength bi-weekly. My cabbages are just now starting to head and just look how healthy they are. Root drench at the drip line, feeding the soil and allowing the soil to feed the plants. Let's go over to my Georgia collards. December of 2020, I planted these from seeds. And now here we are, December 2021 and we're still eating off of these. Having them at the table for Thanksgiving this year gives me even more reason for thanks. I'm in zone 8A, and we've had a few nights that have dipped down into the mid-20s. The cooler temperatures is what makes the collard sweeter, and as the plant starts to use more energy, the edges of the leaves may start to turn purple. This could be an indicator of a phosphorus deficiency, which is why I use a quarter strength of the 01010. It also helps with hardiness during the winter, but even at quarter strength, there's still the chance of promoting bolting. Going back to the 511, I'll use the example of a bed that's four by eight, which is 32 square feet. According to the directions for an application of 25 square feet, it recommends two tablespoons per gallon. I've tried that and it seems to be far too strong. So basically what I've done is I've diluted that by 50% ratio. One tablespoon per gallon, that's it. Let me know in the comments section below how you use fish fertilizer or any experiences that you've had with it that I may not have had. And as always, by his hand, we all are fed.